the Nabataean water architects. In the heart of the arid desert, where the sun scorches the earth and the sand stretches endlessly, there lies a marvel, a hidden city carved into the very mountains themselves. Petra, a city so extraordinary, its builders seem to defy nature itself. But how did these ancient people, the Nabataeans, thrive in such an unforgiving environment? Imagine standing at the entrance to Petra, the colossal rock formations towering above you, their jagged edges softened by time. The sunlight flickers against the sandstone, casting a warm, amber glow across the intricate carvings that adorn the cliffs. But it's not just the stone that tells the story. It's the water. A lifeline in the desert, water was the key to Petra's survival, and the Nabataeans were masters of harnessing it. Thousands of years ago, they engineered a water system unlike anything the world had seen. They built vast, sophisticated channels that transported water from distant springs through hidden aqueducts, ensuring that the city would never go dry. The sound of water rushing through these channels would have echoed softly across the valley, a hum of life in a land otherwise silent. As you walk deeper into Petra, you begin to understand the magnitude of their achievement. The Nabataeans didn't just build a city, they carved it from the very mountains themselves. Temples, tombs, and grand halls, each one etched into the rock with a precision that still astonishes modern architects. And all the while, water flowed, sustaining the people who called this place home. But there's an eerie stillness now. The once thriving city is abandoned, its channels dry, its walls silent. What happened to the Nabataeans? Why did this extraordinary civilization vanish from the pages of history? Was it the shifting sands of time or something more? As the sun sets over Petra, casting long shadows across the ancient stone, we are left with a haunting thought. The Nabataeans were not just masters of stone and water. They were masters of survival in the most extreme conditions. And in the quiet, as the desert winds howl through the canyons, their legacy endures, carved into the mountains forever. If you found this story fascinating, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to help the channel grow.